There's a lot of Gavin's family and backstory that even more that comes up. And I think that's what also makes it more complicated for him. But all of those complications are still driven by that, that need to kind of bring the family back together. And um, that, that doesn't change. Well, hello, guys. It is so nice to, nice. to meet you. Nice. Um, wow, I am such a big fan of La Brea, so I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, I know, obviously, with this being the last season of the series, first, I just want to start um, by asking each of you how the experience of shooting the final episodes were and bringing the journey to a close. Bittersweet. Because I, like, I just love these people, and I love everyone that I've worked with. And for that to end and for us to never be in the same space, same mindset, same everything ever again, that's just wild to my brain. I have no feelings whatsoever connected. <laughs> I'm no, glad, um, you love me. <laughs> I'm kind of glad Nick's gone, to be honest with you. I was pushing, <laughs> yeah, I was you know, pushing for that since season one. We've know? taken this rivalry into our friendship and, and life. <laughs> um, no, it's uh, that she's exactly right. I mean, it, that's that's the tough part is is really just saying goodbye to everybody. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually will, will really miss, I miss acting with these people because, I mean, we're still going to be friends because we get on really well. But I actually, I actually, you know, when you get to act on screen with people that you care about and you trust, I think it kind of elevates what you're doing. And it also makes it a lot of fun. So I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss acting with these guys. Yeah, well, so. we're going to miss the show. So we're going to miss you guys too. <laughs> now you say, now I'm getting all sad. I think this is going to be sad. What's no, that? we're happy. It's yeah. happy. You have a oh, goodness. Yeah, I know. Happy, happy things here. Well, right. now here. Um, moving on to the to the story for this season. I mean, Zyra, you know, what I what I found was interesting was that the pilot starts with your character losing her mom, and now she's losing her again at the end of season two. So how is coming full circle and how is she handling that? Not well. Not well. You lose your mom one time, not great. You lose your mom twice, that's just terrible. That's, that's just, just your fault. What? <laughs> that's just your fault. Just laziness. <laughs> like both times, it's just, well, shouldn't have let go. No, I think I think she's struggling really hard this time um, because not only has she lost her mom, but she's kind of, she's in this headspace where it also feels a bit like she's losing her dad to, for him trying to find Eve, obviously. Um, and so it's a bit, a bit lonely with her grief. Yeah, well, in the, on kind of the same note, Owen, how is Gavin handling it? Because again, he he lost her in the pilot as well. Just to c- continue what, what Izzy said, I think Gavin actually thought that he was doing a really good job with Izzy. And I think he, it takes him a while to realize that he's, his kind of singular focus was in a way uh, sort of being detrimental to his relationship with Izzy. And so it's really important for, for for Gavin to kind of understand that, and you know, like Izzy is there, the two of them are there together. So they become even more of a team, I think. And also he has to become, he has to sort of just change his, his, his shift his focus a little bit. Um, but it's still driven by, by trying to like figure out, there's a lot of Gavin's family and backstory that even more that comes up. And I think that's what also makes it more complicated for him. But all of those complications are still driven by that, that need to kind of bring the family back together. Um, that that doesn't change, but he just has to be a little bit sort of uh, a bit more aware of the kind of the macro elements sometimes, I think. Yeah, well, expanding on what you both just said, how do you think everything that's happened has managed to strengthen the bond between Gavin and Izzy? Because, I mean, they were they were separated for a little bit when we first saw them in the pilot. I think we've, we've actually seen a lot of growth in their relationship because to begin with what we'd seen um them being obviously apart for a while and then getting back together and that that relief, but also them trying to figure out their own relationship because she's not a little girl anymore. She's not the little girl that he remembers and she continues to grow and has to grow because 10,000 BC, obviously. Um, and kind of him trying to figure out how to communicate to her and how to connect with her, I think was really interesting. Oh, yeah, well, on the other side of things, Nicholas, we have your character, we have Levi, And I would say, I mean, his actions in season two were fueled pretty much by loss and revenge. You know, he finally got the family he wanted just for it to be taken away. How is he emotionally when we see him in season three? Um, He's pretty broken, you know, body, mind, um, and obviously doesn't really see any place for him, you know, to belong, you know, uh, um, and a community which um, and a family which he spent his whole life loving and I, I, or at least, you know, since they'd met, but it's been all this time, like loving and, and fighting for, um, 
you know, I don't think anybody wants anything to do with them at this point. On that same note, do you think that your character still has feelings for Eve? Or do you think that he has managed to move past that in their time apart? Yeah, yeah, Nick. Yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, he, um, you know, he loves yeah. her like a, like a friend, like a sister. Yeah, like a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Platonic. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I think he's, he's really gotten past it. He's gotten past it. No, he's, he's always going to love her, I think. Um, but I think that's the interesting thing with the show and the treatment of time and what time does it. I mean, there's a, it lends this sense because Levi's had this time away from this world while everyone's still been living this, this um, adventure. He's had this breakaway for a while. It was still very much focused, obviously, on getting them back and everything. But once we played with this so much, it, it, the depths, and I think is what Owen alluded to, and we were, we were um, in another interview and he was saying that like, because of all these different elements and then we start to realize so much more about the characters um, from past as well as, you know, everything's just kind of mixed around. We get so much more of an understanding of, of what's pushing them or how um, complicated the relationship was so much more than we even expected um, that really brings such a, uh, a texture and a depth in it, even though it's, we're, in the midst of all this action and adventure, there's so much character that um, is injected in these sex episodes. I actually love the friendship between uh, your characters. I love that despite it's kind of everything that's happened between them, they still manage to really care about each other and be there for one another. What is that going to look like in the final season? It's tested, but I also think, I don't know, I, I agree with Nick, it's tested, but at the same time, I think there's kind of, um, there's a nice understanding of, of what that friendship is and what that friendship means. And I, and I, and I, and I think that there's an appreciation for, for what they've gone through and there's an appreciation for, you know, for Levi's feelings and the respect he has, not just towards, you know, Eve, Gavin's wife, but also towards like, you know, Izzy and Izzy and Josh. Like, I think he's, there's, there's an awareness of how important these two people have been to each other even though there's still that antagonism there that's really important because Gavin doesn't necessarily forgive him for what he's done. I think it's not necessarily like completely overshadowed uh, their, their actual their actual original friendship. There's too much history between these men. There's too much that's been risked, you know, lives even and, and sacrificed for each other, even prior to this adventure with La Brea. That that's we we get a sense of just how deep that runs. Owen, we found out at the end of season two that Gavin has a sister. Sounds <laughs> yeah. like she may not be the friendliest. We don't really know yet. We don't know. <laughs> but what can you tease about that storyline? Well, I can tell you is that his sister definitely shows up in season three. And she's and she's also like chaos personified in terms of what she brings to the show. Um, she's a she's a great she's a really lovely actress and a great person. And, but she gives an, an extra edge to to what Gavin's backstory is, and to also like you know because Izzy ends up meeting her. There's a whole kind of shift at the dynamics of the family, and she becomes very important in sort of figuring out uh, why all this has happened and kind of and kind of where Gavin's place is in, in the world. I'm excited. I did not see that twist coming. That one really got me. <laughs> so it, it, it's actually. When we heard that twist last year, we were like, wait, what? But it actually pays off in a really satisfying, important way. It's very cool. Ooh, all right. Well, it looks like it is about time for me to wrap. But thank you guys so much for chatting with me. Pleasure. You're so Pleasure. lovely to talk to you. Rachel.